What is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and I have another GTA 5 online video for you today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also smash that like while you're at it. If you want to become a channel member, you can also click join just to the left of subscribe. Check out our new website at StellaCrewGaming.com, and you can also find us on all of our social media platforms at just Stella Crew Gaming. With all that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get it. Alright, welcome back guys. Today's video we are going to show you the female version full outfit tutorial using only Beth aka the two console glitch. So I did post a couple days ago the male version if you haven't seen that yet. I will leave a link up in the top right hand corner. You can go click on that if you do have a male character. So for this one we're going to do the same as we did before. We're going to build up a couple outfits. We're going to merge everything together and I'm going to show you how to do logos and the belt and everything at once. Okay. So we want to build our two outfits. We're going to have our console one outfit and our console two outfit. Now for this one, I'm going to use my air racing suit for my console two. So all you want to do is pick any of the air racing suits except for the first one. And you want to save that as your C2 outfit. Now from here, we want to build up our C1 outfit. So for C1, we want to go sports jackets and we want to put on the stylized Guffy puffer that I just showed there. Now for the sh shirt that's underneath, we want to use the black print t-shirt, which is 57 of 67. So you want to build that up just like that. Pants and shoes at this point do not matter. And then again, C2, we're just going to use any of the air racing suits at this point. It does not matter. That's going to be the one for the logos. Now we want to build up our merge outfit. So we're going to go back to our C1 and we just want to change the jacket to the navy quilted jacket. All right, so we're going to save this in our merge slot. So either slot number one or slot 20. Then from here, we're going to get ready to do the two console glitch. You do want to make sure you have the Israel parachute. We're going to be using that to flip a few of these. So we want to select that here first. We're going to uh, select our C1 outfit, which is the puffer jacket. Put our parachute on to force a save in the bottom right hand corner. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and do the old net cut, log into our second console. We're going to select the air racing suit that we chose, or this works with the regular racing suits as well. Force a save in the bottom right hand corner. Once we've done that, we go back to our C1, take that parachute off, and just like it usually does, it's going to kick us back to story. We'll load back up into a session. Now, once we do load in, we're going to be like this, all right? So we're going to have the Croax racing suit, which is the default racing suit, texture zero. Um, and then we're going to have that black print t-shirt underneath. So all we need to do is start up our Crooked Cop. From Crooked Cop, we're going to go ahead and go one to the right and one to the left to merge on the navy jacket and it will also merge the logos from that crow x top as well all right so again make sure your merge is saved your merge outfit was saved in slot one or 20 so this will work now we want to save this as our c2 keep outfit all right so we want to keep this outfit we're going to continue to alter it uh, a little bit as we need to for textures but that's going to be the main console 2 outfit that we want to keep now what we're going to do is we're going to change our console one outfit to the racing logos that we actually want. So that's going to be in our C1 outfit slot. Now for our C2, we use that one that we keep. And for our merge, all we want to do is put on the yellow t-shirt here, number 56 of 70. So that a yellow t-shirt is all we need for our merge component. So we're going to now save that in our merge slot, so slot 1 or 20. We're going to start off on our console one air racing suit that the logos that we want to take. We're going to put that Israel parachute back on to force the save. And then once we force that save, we're going to go ahead and do our net cut and we're going to switch to our console two outfit. All right. So again, we're using Israel parachute still here. Anytime we're doing torso two, we're using Israel parachute. So C2 is going to be the C2 keep outfit that we just made. And then once we have that save in the bottom right hand corner, we're going to log back into our console one and we're just going to remove the parachute. All right. So if everything was done correctly, when we do spawn in, we're going to have the air racing belt with the Navy quilt jacket, just like this. All right. So from here, you guessed that we're going to go straight into Crooked Cop. We're going to go one to the right and one to the left just to merge that yellow T-shirt on. Now, the cool thing with this is if you actually want to keep the air racing suit as is, like if I wanted to keep that black and red air racing suit, I can keep it. So it will do logos and the belt in the one shot. But if I am wanting to change the belt, I will show you how to do that, which I am going to do for the purposes of the video. So I'm going to merge the paramedic belt on after, but we'll get to that. 
So now once we do spawn in, we're going to go ahead and save this as our new C1 outfit. Okay. So we can just overwrite the one that had the air race in C4. So this is going to be our new C1. Now, once we've got this built up, we can go ahead and I'm actually going to flip the components for the track suits so I can start to do the um, pants and stuff like that here. So what I'm going to do for the track suits is I'm going to go in to uh, the top here. First of all, we're going to go into sweaters. I want the black manor brick sweater. This is actually going to give me the pink track suit top. So it's the pink adversary mode track suit top. And then I also want to put on the pants. I'm going to do them all in one shot here. We go leggings and I'm just going to put on the purple heat sports track pants. Now any of those should work, but I'm just using the purple ones. That's going to be my C1. Now what we want to do is we actually want to create a secondary C2. We're not going to change that C2 keep one. All right, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put on the sports top, the purple heat sports track top. So this is going to be the one I'm going to flip the color of. Now for pants, you have to actually go over to the casino to get these pants, all right? So there's the pink ones, I don't know what they're called, but I do have them in my Discord. Uh, if you are a member there, you can check them out, I do have them. So these are the pink pants that are actually gonna transfer over um, to give me the tracksuit pants that I want. And I'm gonna do gloves at the same time, so I'm actually gonna have the gloves in my merge spot so I can go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna take the pink racing suit gloves and put those on there. So first of all, this time we are going to use the classic parachute. So we're going to start off with our C1 outfit. We're going to put the classic parachute on. We're going to force that save. Um, or sorry, I stand corrected. We're going to use the Israel parachute. I'm sorry, my bad. We're going to use the Israel parachute because we're doing the torso two. We wanted to flip color. So we're actually going to do the Israel parachute, force that save. Now, once we force that save, we're going to switch over to our C2 outfit. All right. So the C2 outfit's gonna have the tracksuit top on it. So C1 has the pants, C2 has the top. And again, those pants are from the casino. All right, they're the dress pants from the casino. And once we force our save, we go back to our C1, take that Air Zero parachute off. Now, when we do come back into a new session, once we've done our neck cut, we should have the full pink tracksuit at this point. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take this into Crooked Cop. We're gonna go once to the right, once to the left. Now, one thing I did forget to mention, I did show it in the video there, is my C2 outfit as well. I want to make sure I have the gray digital tactical gloves. All right, so I skipped by that. I'm sorry. Gray digital tactical gloves have to be on your C2 outfit in order for the gloves to merge. Okay, so it was in the video feed, but I missed it. I skipped over it. My bad. Um, but once you've done that, you can go ahead and now save this into a new slot, and I'm just going to label it pink. All right, so we're going to use this to merge the pants and then merge the top, uh, excuse me, top and gloves later. Um, but now what we want to do is we're going to go back to the other outfits that we created. So we have our C1 outfit that we had here before. Now we're going to start off at the bottom. We want to merge the shoes first. So what I want to do is change my pants to the merge pants, which is the gold printed fitted pants, which is 26 of 72. And I want to have no shoes. All right. So this is going to be my um, console one outfit. Now, if I want to switch the belt later, which I'm going to, I'm also just going to switch the utility vest here. I'm going to go into the sand plate carrier. So if you notice, it takes the air racing suit off. That's what we want. Um, air racing suit belt, I should say. But the logos stay. You can't really see because these logos are only on the back, but they do stay. But this belt is, or this vest is actually going to be our merge component. All right. So as you can see, the logos are still on the back. So we've now saved that with no shoes. That's our new C1 outfit. Now for the C2 outfit, we want to put on the gray platform shoes and we're going to use or leave everything else the exact same. We don't need gloves at this point or nothing like that, but we're just going to put those merge pants on. Console one has no shoes. Console two has the gray platform shoes. Now we're going to save this as a new console two outfit. We do not want to change that console to keep outfit. All right. So we've got them all there. Then we're going to put the shoes that we want to merge in our merge slot. So slot one or 20. And then from there, we're good to go. We're going to use the classic parachute now. So we're going to go select our C1 outfit, put on our classic parachute to force a save. Once we force a save, we can go ahead and log into our C2. And C2, we're going to pick the one with the gray platform shoes, force a save. And once we have that, we can go ahead and back on our console one. We're going to take that parachute off and net cut, blah, 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 blah. When we spawn back in, we should be wearing no shoes. Okay, so from here, we wanna go straight into Crooked Cop once again, and we're gonna merge the shoes on. So your usual one to the right and one to the left, and we're gonna have the shoes on. 
Now, I'm sorry if this seems a little dry. I'm trying to go through it. It is very repetitive, um, but just follow it in the background. It is quite easy. It's just a lot of steps back and forth. So once we have the shoes on there, we're going to save that now as our new C1 outfit. Now what we want to do is we actually want to merge those pink track pants that we made earlier onto this outfit. So we have our C1 built up here now with the pink shoes that we want. That's perfect. Now for C2, we're going to use the new C2 outfit as well. We're not going to use the keep one yet. And we're going to put the merge pants on. So we're going to go into jeans and we want to put on the skinny jeans. All right. So C1 we haven't changed. It's still the gold printed there. I said, I'm sorry. Um, but when we go to our C2, we're going to put the black skinny jeans on. So there they are, number 24 of 70. Now we also want to make sure we put shoes on of the same texture for the shoes that we have on our console one. So they do not change color. So these pink um, shoes that I'm using, the pink high tops, they're actually a texture one. So I'm just going to use the skate shoes, the black backside, which is also a texture one. So this way they do not change. So the two tone is our texture zero and then one, two, three, so on from there. Um, so you can look these up in Save Editor if you don't know. I did make a full video on, full video on textures, so you can look that up. Now I'm also going to add the gray digital tactical gloves to my C2 outfit here as well. So we're going to do the pants and the gloves here in one shot. All right, so we save that as our C2. Now from here, we're going to go into our classic parachute once again, select our C1 outfit, put the parachute on and force the save. Once we've done that, we can go ahead, log into our console two, switch to the outfit with the jeans and the gloves, and we're going to force a save once again. Once we've done that, go back to our C1, take that parachute off. Now when we do spawn into a session, we should be wearing the gold print pants, all right? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> wow, okay. So we're in the gold print pants, that's perfect, so we know we've got it, and we're still wearing the pink canvas shoes. So we're going to take this straight into Crooked Cop. Now we should be able to merge the pants and the gloves here in one shot. So one to the right, one to the left, there we go. All right, so now this is gonna be our new C1 outfit. So we're gonna save this as our new C1, perfect. Now, earlier on, I should have did the IA badge. I could have did it when I built the tracksuit, but I didn't. So I'm actually gonna do the IA badge right now. And I'm also gonna flip the color of the gloves. So we save that as our C1 outfit. All right, so we I'm just going to put the vest back on because it removed it from the last one. So I'm going to put that sand carrier vest back on. We are going to eventually merge that here, but I'm just putting it back on so my C1 outfit is properly built. So once we've done that, we want to go into our necklaces and we want to put on the baklava. Well, I say baklava. Baklava is like a Greek dessert or a Lebanese dessert, um, but it's the balaclava. So the platinum balaclava necklace. All right. So I didn't actually put the vest on. We'll do that later because we're going to put the necklace on now because it wouldn't actually let me put the vest and the necklace on. Now, for our C2 outfit, we're going to use the Aquamarine Pennant. All right, so the first one was the Balaclava. Second one is the Aquamarine Pennant. And I'm also going to put on the Splinter Tactical Gloves, which is going to flip the color of my gloves. Okay, so this is going to be the alternate C2. We have not touched that C2 keep yet. So we have C1 with the Balaclava and we got C2 with the Pennant. Um, and then I've got a IA badge in my merge slot. So any outfit with the IA badge is going to be in my merge slot. So from there, we want to go ahead, select our C1 outfit, wearing the chain, put on the classic parachute, and force our save. Once we've done that, same as before, we're going to log into our console two. We're going to make sure we change that outfit, wearing the splinter gloves and the aquamarine pennant. Force the save. We get back to our C1. We're going to take that parachute off. And again, we're going to take it straight into Crooked Cop. When we take it into Crooked Cop, we're going to go once to the right and once to the left, and we should have now a merged IA badge onto our new Console 1 outfit. All right, so here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Once to the right, once to the left. There's the IA badge. Perfect. So our C1 outfit is almost done. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the belt. So I put that tan carrier vest back on now. We've got the IA badge, which you can see on the pants there. So this one is almost done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the old Titan of a job trick. So we're gonna get one of these gas mask outfits. We're just gonna save that in any one of our spots. And then what we wanna do is we wanna go over to the telescope and we're going to run by the telescope span right on the D-pad. And then we're gonna select our C1 outfit that we just created. Now, once we've selected that, the gas mask should transfer over to that outfit. Once we walk away from the telescope, we simply want to go over to the clothing store and save this outfit in another slot. Doesn't matter where. 
Now, from there, we take it into Titan of a Job. Now, before you take it into Titan of a Job, you want to just kill yourself and then spam through your outfits and then end up back on this one before you go into Titan of a Job. This will just make sure that it does actually load in without that Balaclava um, mask on. Okay, so you want to load in with no mask or with the gas mask. If you load in with the Balaclava, just exit out, try killing yourself spam through your outfits select different outfits until you get back to the gas mask outfit and then go into the job wearing the gas mask outfit now we want to simply go into titan of it or into the ammunition and save this now if it worked we're going to be able to scan through our outfits and that outfit that we just saved is not going to be selectable because it removes the vest and turns it into a merge component so now we want to take it into our crooked cop and we want to make sure we have the belt saved before beside that outfit that we just made and we're going to hover over the belt first and then we'll go over to that new outfit that we just made and as you can see the paramedic belt actually does transfer over to that new outfit so now we have merged whatever belt that we want so if you want to do a different air racing belt gun belt paramedic belt whatever you want to do now we're going to save this as our new and improved c1 outfit so we have everything on here that we want now I was going to go ahead and try to do a mask at the same time, but I actually forgot to add the glasses to this outfit, so my mask didn't flip for me. So just ignore the head portion of this. It's not going to really matter. You can do the mask, whatever mask you want, but the main thing is here we're going to do now is the torso too. So we save this as our new C1 outfit. We are almost done. Last thing I want to do is I want to add armor onto that tracksuit. So that's the next thing that we're going to do. So we have now our C1 outfit that's fully completed pretty much. We got our C2 outfit, which is here, which we're going to change the textures. Um, so again, we make sure that our pants and our shoes do not change color. So we will build that up. Um, so I'm just going to show you here before we actually flip the armor. So again, we're using those casino pants. I don't remember what they're called, but they're obviously those ones. And then we're going to use those same uh, skate shoes that we used before, the black backside, to make sure that our pink shoes do not change color. And this is going to be our C2 keep. So we're using that one, the navy quilted jacket is always our C2 keep because that's our torso 2 component for our secondary console. Then I also put the splinter gloves on to make sure that our gloves don't change color as well. So now we have our fully um, decked out C1 outfit and then we got our C2 outfit with all the textures to make sure that nothing changes and we will be able to merge our torso. But before we do that, like I said, I wanna go ahead and put the armor onto this outfit. So I'm gonna go into that same sweater I had before to make sure my tracksuit doesn't change color. So we're gonna go into the sweaters, the black banner brick sweater is what we're gonna put on. And then I'm gonna put on the heavy armor from your inventory. So go into your inventory, body armor, and you wanna put on the heavy armor. This is our actual merge component, okay? So I happen to have the white armor on here. So I was able to merge the white armor, but you can do this with any armor that you already own or anything that you get from an adversary mode, like a CEO armor or SWAT vest, those kind of things. So our C2 outfit is simply just gonna be the one that we made earlier with the pink tracksuit top. And then now I've got the armor that I want in my merge slot. So I've got the white armor saved into my merge slot. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and select our C1 outfit. We're just going to use the classic parachute um, or the Israel parachute, I should say, because we're doing kind of an upper half here again. I think they both work for the armor, but I actually use the Israel just to make sure. So put the Israel parachute on and then force our save. Now, once we force our save, we're going to go in ahead and select our C2 outfit once we log in, which is going to be the one with the tracksuit top. Once we have that save, we'll go back to our C1, just remove that parachute. And then when we do load into a new session, we should be wearing just the tracksuit top. And we just want to take that into Crooked Cop, just like before, to merge the armor on. Now we have the armor that we want onto the top that we want, okay? So here we go. So we load it in, wearing the tracksuit top. Don't worry about the shirt underneath, that doesn't matter. And again, crooked cop, once to the right, once to the left, we're gonna merge that armor on. Do, 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 here we go, once to the right, once to the left, there it is, okay? So now we have everything built, we're ready to make the full modded outfit, the end result, the long awaited, <laughs> dragged on, extremely long outfit glitch. All right, so. We're going to save that now into our mer new merge slot. Don't worry about the gloves because it's going to take the pink ones from the other ones. So we have our C1 outfit here. And then we want to make sure we add the armor to our C1 outfit as well um, because otherwise the armor will not transfer over. So we'll go into our inventory, go into our body armor, and just put on that heavy armor. Now we have everything that we want on here. we got the gloves, the pants, the shoes, the belt. We have our torso tube merge component. 
they can door the mask. We have our armor built exactly how we want it. C2, we've got our color blocking pants on there. We've got our color blocking shoes on there, as well as the gloves, so nothing changes color. We're going to use the Israel parachute here because we are doing our torso too. So select our C1 outfit, put on the parachute. Once we put on the parachute, we're going to force a save. If you are doing a helmet or mask at the same time, you could do this at this point as well. But again, I forgot to add glasses, so it didn't actually work for me here. Um, but as you can see in the thumbnail, I did do it after the fact. So I just had to make sure I have glasses on. Now for the C2 outfit, once we get on there, we're just going to go ahead and select that one, which is going to be the Navy Navy uh, Colton jacket. So we select that, force the save. Then we're going to go back to our console one, take that parachute off. When we do spawn into a new session, we should have a combined outfit. So we're going to be wearing the pink tracksuit pants with the pink gloves with the Navy jacket. Perfect. We're going to take that into Crooked Cop, merge it over to the right, back to the left, and we are finished. So I hope you guys understood that. I know, like I said, it was a long, dragged-on video. It's, it's, there's a lot to cover. Um, again, this is the female version. I have a male version as well. I will leave a link down below. Um, so check them both out. I also have a full playlist on the ways that you can use this glitch. Um, so obviously, it's, it's basically limitless. You can do anything with this. So with the logos and the armor, this is something new. Um, so big shout-out to Silent for finding the method for that. Go check out her website for all of your component needs as well. So she has very good tutorials and um, descriptions and what does what and what blocks off what and all that kind of stuff. So big shout-out to her. Um, put the earpiece on, quit out, save it, we're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and drop a like. Until the next one, this is your boy SCG.